Hello everyone, I'm Shauna, your independent Scentsy Consultant. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please like and subscribe for more Scentsy and home fragrance content. And if you're one of my beloved returning subscribers, I love you guys so very much. Thank you so much for the support. Because sometimes it's a little tough being a small YouTuber, you know. So I appreciate all of the comments and outpouring of love and support that I get from you. And I also love to hear your opinions too. So yeah, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Duchess by Day because that is where I post the latest Scentsy news. But anyway, I am doing a video today because I have the much coveted box of seasonal holiday bricks so excited so they went live for a consultants to purchase yesterday um you all if you're not a consultant should be able to purchase october 1st um that's another perk for being a scentsy consultant you get access to collections and things like that early very exciting i am totally a home fragrance junkie so that's one of the favorite my favorite things about this business so enough rambling let's jump into these because i yeah i just can't wait i just got home and um i'm like okay i have to put up a youtube video so i can start sniffing very excited so okay let's start off with fluffy fleece and it is a very like um soft um almost a periwinkle blue it's like a cross between a light blue and a periwinkle blue colored wax and um yeah, so bricks, this is like five and a half to six bars in one brick. And um, as long as you have a full size warmer, you can put one cube in a warmer. But anywho, um, let's go ahead and read the scent notes. So fluffy, fluffy fleece is black currant and cozy musk bundle up beneath a blanket of heliotrope. I think heliotrope is a flower. So black currant, cozy musk and heliotrope which sounds a little well i guess the musk is like the fleece part let's see oh <laughs> okay i love this <laughs> okay i love it so um i'm getting musk i'm getting like this softness like a fleece musky um almost like a cotton oh my gosh and the black currant, um, there's adding like a fruity sweetness. And you know what? I really want to know what heliotrope is. Just a second. Probably should have looked that up before, but I'm like, I I'm too excited. I'm just trying to delve into these. But I think it's like a purple flower. Um, oh, it's a plant. Okay, it's a flowering plant. So, so yeah. Um, okay. But this is, um, let me get my descriptions pulled back up so I don't lose that, so I don't have to make you guys wait anymore, but, hmm, this is nice. Um, and you know what, I, if you like currant, because I am getting a lot of the black currant, I happen to love black currant, so I'm fine with that, but it's like a, um, soft, musky cotton with like, um, the current and just like a, a a spice like a dash of the heliotrope flower i like this i think it's going to be really nice warming and i cannot wait so yeah i'm gonna to have to change my wax out i need to put this in maybe i'll do this one in my in my bedroom i think i might do that so yes that is fluffy fleece um next is pink poinsettia really cute packaging too right and it's a beautiful, like, um, corally fuchsia wax. Very pretty. Okay, pink poinsettia is crisp plum and blackberry. Celebrate the season with a burst of pomegranate. I love blackberry. I'm okay with pomegranate. Plum is sometimes hit or miss for me. But let's see. Mmm, this is like, um very fruity almost like fruit punchy you get a lot of um the pomegranate and blackberry um i think i do smell some plum let me smell the bottom yeah i get more of the plum on the bottom i think 
but it's nice this is almost like a um a fruity bowl of fruit punch that's kind of what this reminds me of um just like blackberry pomegranate the fruity plum like in a bowl like a like a punch it's um kind of basic but i mean sometimes fruity is okay if you're having company and you don't know what they like or i mean you you can't go too wrong with fruity scents so that's not bad okay so far so good um yeah i guess i'll do this one sweet orange pomander not looking forward to this just because i'm not an orange fan if you follow me you probably know that <laughs> And it's like this uh, burnt orange colored wax. I love opening and closing these clamshells. Like there's something so appealing about that. Is it just me? But it's like this burnt orange color. Um, sweet orange pomander. Sparkling clove and cinnamon stick. Adorn sweet orange in a dazzling display. Mm. Okay, I'm going to try to keep an open mind. But I don't like cinnamon. I don't like clove. And I don't like orange. Just saying. Okay, I get a ton of cinnamon. Let me smell the bottom. Oh my gosh, this one's really in here. All of these were probably just poured like a few hours ago. Because I'm so special, I get my stuff so quick. You know what I mean? I do the local pickup. Ugh, a ton of cinnamon with some clove in the background and orange. Too much cinnamon. This is predominantly cinnamon to my nose, or it could be that I'm picking up on mostly cinnamon because I don't like cinnamon so much, but a ton of cinnamon and orange is just kind of there in the background. If you want your house to smell like cinnamon, do this. I, I don't even think I'm warming this. I, yeah, I probably won't warm this. It's too cinnamon for me. I no sweet orange pomander. Just no. I know. I need to learn to form an opinion. Okay, so vanilla cinnamon maple and very fall-like packaging. The wax is like a burnt orange, but with some caramel in it. Looks like. Ooh, I can smell this one. Okay, cinnamon stick. <laughs> Warms buttery maple atop a mountain of whipped swip. Let me try that again. Cinnamon stick warms buttery maple atop a mountain of whipped sweet cream. Ooh, I get a lot of the um, vanilla and sweet cream. There is some cinnamon, but it's kind of hanging out in the background, which is doable. You know, a little bit of spice isn't always the worst thing in the world. Um... Ooh, on the bottom, it totally changed. On The bottom is yummy. The bottom is like, um, like vanilla, sweet cream, but it's the maple. Okay, it's the maple that's coming out more on the bottom. And then the cinnamon is there. It's definitely there. It's hanging out. You definitely get cinnamon, but yeah, I'm going to have to warm. I want to warm this one because I love vanilla. I love sweet cream. I love uh, sweet cream. I love like, um, well, not love maple anymore. I'm getting away from bakery scents, um, like the heavy, buttery, syrupy um, scents. But, but I think with the vanilla and the cream, I think I may be able to do this one. I'm hoping. Yes. So that is vanilla cinnamon maple. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the kitchen. Maybe I'll try that in the kitchen. And then one I'm very excited about is spiced eggnog. Because I never smelled Scentsy's, um, I think they have a scent called eggnog. And I, I voted for it like crazy uh, for a couple of Bring Back My Bars. And then I gave up because it was never in the top 20. Um, but I actually like eggnog. Um, I like the way it tastes. I like the way it smells. So little eggnog mugs on there and like this really soft, um, almost like a cream colored wax. So the scent notes are ground clove, simmers in a festive blend of buttered rum and creamy eggnog. So we've got ground clove, 
buttered rum, and creamy eggnog. This is light. Okay, so this one I may have to let it sit for a little bit because I'm getting like a sweet eggnog on top, but it's not very strong. Um, okay, a little stronger on the bottom. Okay, now I'm getting that eggnog. I get blasted with eggnog um, and the buttered rum and a dash of clove. Like on the top, it's just eggnog and clove. But when I smell the bottom, I definitely get more of the buttered rum. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this one. Yeah, I will need to warm this to make an informed decision. It may be too much buttered rum. I'm not sure. It's kind of all balanced out on the bottom. Eggnog, buttered rum, and clove. And see, I will want more eggnog. Like, that's what I'm after. I just want to be blasted in the nostrils with eggnog. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's what I want. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's not bad. But it does smell very light. So, I think I'm going to let this one sit for a couple of days. Because it happens sometimes. The oils haven't settled um, and kind of blended together. Okay. So, yes, that is my first sniffs for the seasonal Scentsy Holiday Bricks. Um, I am impressed. Let's see. For favorites, um, I think Fluffy Fleece. Yes, I think this is my favorite. I really like this one. Um, mm -hmm. It's just so nice. And you know what? Now that I smell it again, it sort of puts me in the mind of um, Polar Bear Hugs, formerly known as Eskimo Kiss. So if you like that one, I think you'll like this one. Why didn't I pick up on that at first? I'm not the biggest Eskimo Kiss fan, but it sort of smells like that. Yeah, okay. So this is like um, Polar Bear Hugs. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so this is my favorite. Um, And then I think... This is tough. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Spiced Eggnog? Just because eggnog scents are so rare. And that one smells like it's pretty well done. And then I may go with... Mm, vanilla cinnamon? Or... I do like that one, but I like this one too. Mm, I think this one's third. I think um, Pink Poinsettia is third. And then I think um, vanilla cinnamon maple, just because of the cinnamon. If they took the cinnamon out, this may have been like second or third, but the cinnamon just throws me. And then in dead last is sweet orange pomander. I do not like this one at all, actually. So that one's in dead last. So, so yes, I will get to warming these. Um, comment and let me know which ones you were most looking forward to. I have to say I was looking most forward to Fluffy Fleece and that one ended up being my um, favorite. And then the Spiced Eggnog. So so yeah, they're not bad, you guys. I actually like these despite the sweet orange pomander. But if you like, if you love cinnamon and you like orange, you probably will love that one. So just don't take my opinion on it. You know, everybody's nose is different. So Thank you so much for hanging out. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Duchess by Day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, friends.